By all means, Okutani Koko Gira Kuno Shikamoti Genda Kwe Simba Wo Yetaka Kwati. Yetaka Kwati Rao. Now, former Kawembe South Member of Parliament, Honorable Mubarak Munyagwa, has requested Parliament to summon Land Forces Commander, that is President Museveni's son, Muhozi Kanirugaba, to explain why he wants to take power illegally. And congratulations to us. We have finally hit 14K subscribers. Please, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly do subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, before we go to that story, uh, information has been circulating on social media suggesting that Jeno Katumba Wamala and some supporters are planning his 67th birthday bash in preparation for the 2026 presidential elections, just like President Museveni's son Mohozi Kanerugaba recently did it at Lugogo Cricket Oval. Now, information still indicated that a section of the public has been requesting Jeno Katumba Wamala to run for president in the coming elections of 2026. But hours later, after the posters started circulating on social media, Jeno Katumba Wamala, through his social media platform, dismissed the rumored birthday bash. Now, he actually posted, this has been making grounds on social media. Please disregard it and treat it with the contempt it deserves. So, there you go. There is nothing like birthday bash or project Jeno Katumba Wamala is planning. Well, in other news, uh, former Kampala RSCC, that is Mr. Hudu Sain, has joined Franga Shumba and reiterated that NUP is an NRM political party started by President Museveni aimed at weakening the opposition leaders and political parties and it is also funded by the state. Now, Hudu Sain also cautioned NUP supporters to go slow on attacking Franga Shumba because he's very good at making research and always speaks about something he's very well versed with. Uh, it should be remembered that recently, Mr. Franga Shumba revealed that NUP was a project started in 2019 by NRM to weaken credible opposition leader Dr. Kiza Besije. Well, in other news, a former Kawembe South Member of Parliament, Honorable Mubarak Munyagwa, has requested Parliament to summon Land Forces Commander, that is Lieutenant General Mohozi Kainerugaba, to explain why he wants to take power illegally. Now, Munyagwa revealed that Lieutenant General Mohozi Kainerugaba has started using his office to mobilize support and capture power, knowing that the law does not allow him because he's still a serving officer of the army. Now, Honorable Munyagwa also said UPDF has been known for its discipline. Officers are not allowed to talk about anything concerning politics until when they retire from the army. General Mwazi na bagamba wano, vya ali mkukola wano, teri mu government vya inzavi kwa lida mu Afrika, nebata mkwata. General Mwazi vya ali mkukola, kakube kuandika ku Twitter, kakube kukola pate yu, actually pate jia kukola neba ditaso wa jikola. Mbadiga ya kuze kuota ya pate yu, chief of defense forces, mkama hawi, nga ya genze kasese wabu, e, nagaru orugudo, natagana minuro, nagara kagudo guda ya kebali. Na ita yu neba, neba, neba kwa imprevent as ya tano. Na jaga nyama zari wawo geni badiba mkwata. Toso wala kubele na serving um, you, um, officer. Angata kubele na mateka. Jeno mwazi, by all means, kukutani kuko gina kuna kushika mwati genda kwe simba wawo. Yetaka kwata. Yetaka kwati la wawo. Nga wabali yukororo, jeno mwazi. Jeno virunji, akulia CMI. Jeno don na rasa. Jeno chanda. Yetaka kwata. Tengatu wadim government gobele ni mfuga ya mateka. Let me tell you, Oroko wa genze kumukono, kumukono guli treason us. What Muhozi did was treason. Speech yewa, inyambala jewa yambala. You see the speech, you only say, by birthday, chino songa ya guanga. You need to defend your country. Again, it's true. <laughs> I'm happy that he, 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 that was treason us. Permission, yoko gira, okwa addressing arali zi ya jijawa. Jeno Museven, a chief advisor of Jeno Muhozi. That's why Zenga Munyoga na Jawani Mbagamba. Mwuzi tayaka kutuwa mkule mbeze mkarumu. Ah, ah, chete chidi yo. Ayagala kutuwa mkule mbeze mkarumu, utapa reading about general Zenga Bali Muniform. E yali message yali ya sindika, e riba anoba amana. I have the chief of CMI of military intelligence. I have the deputy chief of SFC. Binababo, ona riba yali wabo. I have Don Navasa, who is in charge of the Somalian. I, I don't Navasa mu mancha ategeza major general. I have, um, but, okubaga mate, have whatever it takes to crush whoever. 
anaimi ya mkuli yangi that's why we are a treaty yang ama when the Mokozi forces take charge take, when we take charge we shall not arrest you he talked of forces they may kill me they may liquidate me so chengeza kukula teyogi na kufanu banu 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 kwa ina plan teyogi na kunti when the progressive NRM manye bichibu ene kwa teyagabu when the forces meaning a plan yoko wala winza na manye advice ajia kutata we atinga chili so disga chiche uinyi sa yisa yi mavo Jeno Muhozi ya gina makademi nisinga yu Muhozi. Enuji. Sand Hustle mwa Amerika, you know, South Africa, Egypt, you know. It's highly trained. Na yu kubanga asubu ayagala mgoviri ya mufu wa tata wei. Kwa zisa manya kwa wali government, chie uinsa. Ndiagala mkutegeze, unless Jeno Muhozi akoze yu mtuwe trizo na suya mnundi ena. His daddy's speech was so telling. President Ogama na gamba mutaba ni wangari kurutinga maji. Enasu no ame. No ita mutaba niwo no mwajangu e jeri na chief of staff o ina chief of recruit i don't those chiefs jo mono i manage sibi manyi neno ita mutaba niwo ngamva kula nchi nomwa gano pandikira yavuke ku mitano nero kongera chikula ganya wara kayimba ngamajega yimba katambula ku social media na kuzima ba commander ba commando be safe sibade ba furuma kuba yimba akuna mungine yo weri mama yo weri ko sanga amajege tutade mu center tuka training in national army Mr. President Museveni has actually met his professionalizing this army. No sango right on I'm training our commander and what you will mulala in Okujako Yoeli. Yo eri mama yo eri mama yo e akuna mwingi ne. Wawa or reasons is it isa. Zenga mvwa guru, njagalo kusava parliament, madam nambozi kumanyiga tiatia vidudumana avarala. Mwemwe ka tabija government yetu sigaza. Awali kaimini itakaizo kuhita mujeno muhozi musamoni ingi. Mbuze vichibi yakola. Hati mula mwa wanga muza mwoda. Pate za kula ziri kulia monsiru kwe. Tweet za wele za kulia monsiru kwe. Noge na majafu ajemu grupu etambule na yenga kwa agenda kalage kwa kula rallies kwa kula kwete kila kulia monsiru kwe. So na ade ade nsa madamu na mbozi. Buge ende kufuro ya pali ya minti nkusama. Mwitemu. Si manyo mweza chikola. Kumamu komiti ya defense I don't know. But mwge ende mwenga pali ya. Mutu yambe. Mwite jeno mhozi. For disciplinary you know. I don't know. Maybe for a deep brief. Musoke mbuzi chisha aliku, mbuzi chibi ya chisha prani. Chukwe kwe tochi, and I repeat. Jeno muhozi, agenze mawanga mbuba gurori ingila redi kapit inga president. No, yukula pati na wita pa president satene vajja. Wita mchila wa titi soda. Well, there you go. That is Honorable Mubarak Munyagwa, former member of parliament representing Kawembe South. Well, in other news, uh, yesterday, more than 25 people drowned after a cargo boat they were moving in capsized on Lake Victoria. Uh, this cargo boat was heading to Kisaba landing site that is in Kalangala district. Now, according to the eyewitnesses, they said the engine of the cargo boat got stuck in the fishing nets, yet the lake had strong winds and bad weather. And the eyewitnesses still said all the people that were on the boat drowned. Now, this accident comes just a day after the Fort Porto accident and another one that happened in eastern Uganda. Uh, that means in just two days, we have lost more than 50 people in accidents both on water and road. Now, this is so bad. Uh, may their souls rest in peace. Well, in other news... Now, recently, President Museveni on Labor Day said that Ugandans should do away with bread if it's expensive for them and start eating cassava. However, President Museveni's statement did not sit well with a big section of Ugandans. Now, yesterday, a section of university students peacefully marched to parliament with their petition decrying the skyrocketing prices of essential commodities. Unfortunately, as soon as they got at parliament, they were arrested immediately and taken to CPS. <laughs> No, they have refined to agree with us. Stop is very high. Cooking oil is very high. We can't afford cooking oil as students. We are here to deliver a petition to the speaker. But we have been brutal arrested. We are students. We have nothing to eat. Other countries are increasing uh, parent salary, but here the president told us to eat cassava. Even we can't afford cassava. We as students, we have come here to demonstrate because students, the prices of, of cooking oil are high, prices of bread are very high. We have come here very freely and in peace, but they have arrested us. This is not right, and we recommend the police not to do this again. Thank you. Now, according to Mitana Member of Parliament, Honorable Francis Zake, he says these students were beaten severely by police at Parliament instead of being guided where to deliver their petition. 
Well, there you go. That is the latest news I have for you this morning. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly do subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. We are called the Buzz UG. Please, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly do subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you.